Hello and welcome to my channel. This is going to be something different. We're not going to do your average makeup tutorial. Uh, this is more of a political protest. So what I mean about that is I am painting my face to really mirror how I feel about this election and the election results. So if you want to do this, you don't have to do it as a political protest. You can still drip paint and see where it organically goes. But for now, we're going to start. All the products that are going to be used are in the description box. And here we go. Okay, so I like to put my contacts in prior. It takes my eyes a while to get used to it. So I am going to apologize. This is a ratty, very used <laughs> skull cap. Um, but you know what? I'm painting over it, so why not reuse it? I'm using the Ben 9 Matte Spirit Gum just to do the edges. I don't want to do the entire uh, perimeter of the skull cap, so just the edges are fine. And now I'm going to take my Morphe Amazing Cucumber Wipes and wipe any excess. So this is the reference picture I'm using. You could find anything on Google. And so I'm going to start by taking my Rituals brush and my Wolf FX in white. You want to really mix it in there before applying to the face and to the skull cap. Now the skull cap is made out of latex, so it really holds it very well. I'm taking the NYX in Milk, and what I'm going to do is just basically outline using the reference picture I showed earlier. I just want to get a rough sketch. This doesn't have to be detailed. I'm focusing on the eye sockets, the nose, and following down to the perimeter where I'm going to put the teeth. So now I am just painting in the excess. As you notice, it's not white, it's kind of gray because somebody didn't wash her brushes again. It's okay, we're just going to go over on our second layer, and it's going to be white as a ghost. And then I'm just doing little neck wounds. Alright, I'm just taking this Morphe and Wolf product. Sorry for the blur. Um, it is a Morphe synthetic concealer brush with the Wolf Hydra color in black. And now I'm going to just do a rough sketch of all the black areas in the skull. The skull is not meant to be perfect, just want to let you know. Oh my god, this Cassetti brush, I live for it. Anything with detail, when I do my trademark giant triangles, this is the brush that I use. I use this brush for literally just about everything. It's synthetic and it's very dense and it picks up the product. I'm still going back with that Morphe brush, I'm um, just with the larger areas and using the Cosetti brush for the areas that I need a little bit more detail. Now I'm filling in the nose. Looks like Twin Peaks. And I'm going over because I want it to be white and not light gray. Fun fact and fun tips for all of you kids. Wash your brushes. And now I am just doing little peaks or little candy corn. I messed up the bottom, but I'm going to go back and fix that. I'm going to do it all along. Now this is the part where I stopped using a reference picture and I'm like, let's just go ham. Honestly, teeth would not go that far out. If you looked at any reference pictures, teeth actually don't go far into your jawline. But I wanted this to be really spooky and Terrorizing. <laughs> Feeling myself. Okay, so I'm going back with that Cosetti brush and the black Hydra color. I'm basically using the same colors. The white Hydra color from Wolf and the black Hydra color from Wolf. And 
As you can notice, I'm doing both sides. So I'll do one ear and then I'll do one ear. And then I'm going to go along the jawline. I like to do that to make sure that everything is as symmetrical as possible. It's a good way to work. You'll make less mistakes that way. <laughs> this is the part where I'm like, and I need a mirror. I have to get a mirror that's like a little bit bigger just because of my setup. And I have a giant vanity mirror, but that's where I place my camera. So I need a secondary mirror just for these types of videos. Look how grungy that mirror is. I need to clean it. So basically what I'm doing is just outlining where the gums would be and just adding a little bit of definition. Again, this is very rough because I'm going to be blending it later with shadow. And as you see, I haven't filled all the areas that should be white because I'm still kind of figuring out where I'm going. Oh, she's loving it. Yes. Now I am going to do the chin and the first neck bone. Going back, trying to make this white and not light gray. This is also a brush from Morphe. I am not affiliated or sponsored by them, but they're one of my favorite brushes. Especially for all these uh, water activated paints. I use Krylon Aqua Colors and uh, Wolf. I haven't gotten too much into the Mayron Paradise paints. I feel like they're a little bit drying. All right, so I'm like, to do the chin or not do the chin? Let's do the chin. Again, not being anatomically correct as possible. I might actually do an anatomically correct skeleton, but for this, we're just getting the bare bone structure of what a skull is. Again, I'm so really good with the puns and the jokes today. And I'm just painting the perimeters and the neck and the collarbone black. And I'm going in and redefining those lines with shadow, black shadow. I love my ink clot. Oh my god, it's like the best block ever. Just going back and forth just until I get something I like. Now we're doing the brow bone. I made it more like a drag brow because I'm so used to it. But also because um, the skull cap, it didn't like the powder very well. And I'm using this with the same ink lot black shadow. So what I'm doing is just like using another ink lot uh, brush that I have, the shader, and then manually blending it out with my fingers. And now I'm basically going to just go in and start setting everything with black shadow. And then for the inner waterline of the eye, I'm using my e.l.f. gel liner. Oh, this is this like old Makeup Forever color blue. You can use any blue that you want, it doesn't matter. I'm using this amazing Stila brush, it's a Stila 24. I use it so much. And now I'm using someone had inspiration. I was gonna paint it blue, but then it started dripping down. It was a happy accident. And I'm like, you know what? We are going all for this. So basically how I'm doing this is I'm using a more water ratio to Kryolan Aquacolor mix. And I use Aquacolor for both the blue and the red. The blue is from my Aquacolor palette and the red is the standalone standard red that you get. Honestly, any water-based paint will do. I'm not one of those people that's like, well, if you're not doing this, you're not doing makeup. I have no time for that. You can use the cheapest stuff possible. This looks so cool. I went to art school before I went to beauty school. It's a little fun fact about me. And I like things that are very painterly. Even here, I'm just, like, it hasn't even dried yet. I'm just smearing it and smudging it. Everything is very organic. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just liking it. So now, I actually let the blue dry first. 
and I'm going in with the red. Because I don't want to bleed together just yet. I want to have a nice foundation. Now, if you are putting it on the eye, please be careful. I am surprised I did not get this in my eyes. I don't know how this happened. So I'm going over it with a red. This is from Inklot. I'm going over the blue. It creates a little bit of purple, but I'm, I'm just basically stippling it everywhere and doing that same brush stroke to the bottom. And I'm just going crazy. Just how did this not get into my eyes? The fun thing about this look is that you can't mess it up because you're already messing it up. And I'm just basically doing the same thing over and over. I'll do the red, I'll let it dry for a few minutes. Then I'll go over with the blue, I'll let it dry a few minutes. And then I got to a point where I just started um, dipping that Rituals brush, because it's so thick, into the water, and then just letting the water drip down. So it almost looked like I got stuck in the rain, but the red and the blue were the raindrops, you know? I'm living. You could do this in any color. You could do one that's like a rainbow, you know? So yeah, that's it. It's really simple to do. Anybody can do this because you're basically making a mess and you're ruining your gorgeous makeup. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. And I am going to be doing videos every Friday. So check back next Friday and see what I have in store. Night, night. We are going to make this decision now. The Fox News decision desk has called Pennsylvania for Donald Trump. This means that Donald Trump will be the 45th president of the United States, winning the most unreal, surreal <laughs> election we have ever seen. This candidacy starting on an escalator ride one year ago.